You know, something I hear a lot in the ham radio community is something to the effect of, oh, you shouldn't use those Chinese Bofang radios. They sound like crap. I personally have never experienced that in, in my day-to-day -day operations of the Bofangs. In fact, I can remember fondly a conversation I had on a repeater when I was still living in Michigan. When I was a new ham, I had a Bofang uh, GT3TP uh, just attached to a little mag mount on my car. And uh, the guy said I sound great and wanted to know what radio I was using. And I told him I was using a Bofang and he couldn't believe it. So today we have 10 radios that we're gonna take a listen to and see do they really sound like crap. So uh, we've got a Bofang UV3R, we've got a uh, UV5R, we've got a Bofang GT5R, we've got a Bofang UV5R Pro, that's for you, for you pros out there. We've got the TalkPod A36, we've got the TID Radio H3, we've got a Redivus RA89, and then we have three Japanese radios. We're gonna take a look at the Yesu FT4XR. Yes, mine is made in Japan. We have the Yesu FT5D, and we have the Yesu VX7R. So I'm gonna transmit with all these radios. I'm gonna mix them up so you don't know which one is which. So we'll just listen blindly. And we're gonna be listening with my ICOM 705, and I'm gonna put my microphone right in front of it so we can hear it. It's gonna stay in the same place the whole time. I'm gonna take these radios into another room and transmit. And then I'm going to bring these radios back in this room and I'm gonna take my 705 into the other room and transmit so we can listen to the receive audio quality on all of these different radios. And at the end, I will tell you which radio is which. So without any further ado, let's get at it. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of radio one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 2. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 3. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 4. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 5. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 6. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 7. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 8. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 9. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the transmit audio of Radio 10. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now that we've heard all these radios transmit, now we're gonna go ahead and listen to the receive audio on this, the speakers, if you will. Now I've tried to set the volumes on these at about halfway, but keep in mind, we're not listening for loudness, we're listening for audio quality, so do remember that. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to note which radio you thought sounded best on transmit, and then note which radio you thought sounded the best on receive and put in the comments which number one through 10 had the best transmit audio and the best receive audio. And at the end of this, I'm gonna tell you which radios were which and we can see if you were right or if you were wrong. I'm curious to see how these results turn out myself. So let's listen to these radios on receive. This is KNMRE testing the receive audio of radio one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 2. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 3. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 4. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 5. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 6. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 7. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 8. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 9. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is KNMRD testing the receive audio of Radio 10. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. 
And now we have heard the transmit and receive audio from all 10 of these radios. How do you think you did? Do you think you might have spot the Yesus? Could you pick the Bofangs out of the bunch? I'll be curious. But now, these radios, as they are lined up, is the order that we were listening to on uh, the video here. So number one, we've got the Yesu VX7R. Radio number two is the Bofang GT5R. Number three is the TID Radio H3. Number four is the TalkPod A36 Plus. Number five was the Yesu FT4X. Six is the Redivis RA89. Number seven is the Bofang UV5R Pro. Number eight was the Yesu FT5D. Number nine is the Bofang UV3R. And number 10 is the Bofang UV5R. So I am really curious if any of you got them right. I'm curious to see uh, any reactions from people who might have been surprised. Personally, I think these all sound uh, pretty darn similar. There were some that sounded a little different, uh, but overall, I don't think they're quite as bad as what a lot of people make them out to be. Spurious emissions aside, of course. Now, I'll tell you every radio on this bench, with the exception of this Bofang UV3, is RF quiet. I've tested them all. I did a video with the Smoke and Ape test in all these radios. And uh, yep, that's what you get for buying a, I paid $5 for this radio at a swap and I love it. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this kind of video. I thought this was a lot of fun. So uh, I appreciate you watching and thanks so much. We'll see you again on another episode of Ham Radio Tube 73.